In a previous video, I made a small intro demo of this little paracord loop, and I've gotten a number of comments, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to make a video and further explain this uh, little device that I use quite a bit. Now, I have it holding one of our AMP3 Gear Corral wallets together, and basically, um, all this is is a simple loop of paracord has a small knot in the end that keeps the cord lock from falling off. I've made these in various lengths. I've settled on about two feet for a good all-around um, length and I use these a lot for holding um, all sorts of cables and uh, gear together in a very easy to access and take apart bundle. In this case I'm using one of our AMP3 Gear Corral wallets. And this, this one is set up as a small uh, first aid kit that I'm gonna start carrying when we go to shows. I always end up, if someone gets a cut, they always send them over to our booth. And I'm gonna put one in each of our vehicles in the glove box. Um, but uh, again, the uh, Gear Corral is just a series of mesh pockets. It has a one inch nylon flap. In this case, um, again, it's set up as a small uh, first aid kit, kind of a boo-boo kit, and um, it's a nice size. That's a nice little compact kit, um, and when I folded it up, I wanted something just to keep the bundle together so I could put it in the glove box, and this is another good application for one of these paracord gear uh, straps. So. You basically wrap it around your gear as many times as you need. In this case, it fits perfect. Twice around, tighten up the paracord, and I just took the extra length and tucked it in between, and that's a nice little package. Again, the uh, loop has a small barrel knot in the middle, and that keeps the cord lock captured between the knot on the end and the knot in the middle. All right, let's make one of these. Now you can pretty much get paracord and cord locks anywhere. Here's an example of a very inexpensive set, utility cord and cord locks from a local sporting goods shop. My favorite is to use good quality mill spec paracord. And I like these heavy-duty elliptical toggles or cord locks. In this case, I got them from REI, but you can get them online and at a lot of major uh, sporting goods stores. Now, I'm pretty frugal, and every time I throw gear away, I always take it apart and see what I can salvage. In this case, I've saved uh, cord locks, and I keep them on a piece of paracord, so if I've got a project, I can grab one and I'm good to go. Now, if you do a lot of paracord projects, I'd recommend you consider purchasing a spool of paracord. You can never have enough of this. Okay, to make one, you're gonna need a length of paracord, a pair of scissors, a lighter, and cord lock. In this case, we're gonna make two of them, so I've got two lengths of paracord. We'll take two cord locks. Now, to start, I just happen to have these two pieces. They already cut to length in my project box. I'm going to cut the end off of the fused end. And I like making these with the center stripped out. Now you don't have to do that. You can certainly leave the center in. I just think it makes a little tighter profile loop. Now the first thing you want to do is find the center and I'm going to tie a, I don't know that there's a name for this, I call it a barrel knot, but basically it's one loop, you come around one more time, and then come in from the back side, and then neatly dress that down, and it gives you kind of a long barrel, and that's going to be located right in the middle of this length of paracord. Okay, let's do that one more time close up just for folks to get a better look. So I'm going to take the center, I'm going to go once around my finger, I made a cross, 
Now I'm going to hold that loop, come around one more time, and then just take the end and come in through the back side. It's almost like a figure eight. Flatten that down. Okay, we've got our two pieces of paracord. We've stripped out the center. We've tied the barrel knot in the center. Now what I recommend you do is you take your ends and you fuse these together. And the reason I do that is because it's a little easier to put the two ends through the barrel lock if they're fused together. I learned that the hard way. So you just take the fused end, stick it through the barrel lock, slide that all the way down to your barrel knot in the center there, dress it up, and now I'm just going to flatten that paracord out right out to the end. Make sure there's no twists. I'm going to cut the end. Now I'm just going to tie a simple overhand knot at the very end so they're equal length. Press that knot down. Now to finish this end, what I like to do is I like to cut it short and I like to fuse the ends together and tight to the knot. And then I just take the back end of the lighter and flatten it out. So there we have it. One is done. Okay, let's look at a couple of examples of these paracord gear tamers in action. Now one way to apply them is to take the loop and it's always good to have the cord lock at the very end. Take the loop with the knot, put it around your gear. You can do once, twice, pull it tight, slide that barrel lock down and you're done. Now another way to do it is to take your gear, take the end with the knot, just hold it down with your thumb, wrap it once, twice, take the end with the cord lock and just slip it through that loop right there. Pull that tight and in this case you're sliding that barrel cord lock down against that edge and that just acts like a little toggle and keeps it tight. Now here's an example of that application in the setting of a loop. In this case this is one of the programming cables for one of my handheld radios. I don't like to crunch this loop together real tight. So what I do is I use the gear tamer and I just wrap it once, twice, and then I just run it through that loop at the end, pull it tight and use it in that toggle fashion. Here's the example that we did with one of our gear corrals. And in this case, I've got a gear corral that I'm using for my programming cables. I've got a bunch of handhelds, and they're all a little bit different, and they have different uh, programming cables. To keep them all together, I use one of these. I just tuck that in the pocket, fold it up, and we're done. Now, this would also be another good example just to take another one of these, wrap it around, Hold it tight and then just bury that end in the fold. Now here's two more examples. In this case I made a smaller version using some type 3 paracord or tether cord. There's an example of it right there. You want to get some of this? Go check out my buddies at County Com tied a knot and rather than tying a knot at the end I used some of these little cord enders 
again from County Com. And of course there's the barrel loop, so we'll wrap it around once, twice, slide that down, and that keeps this cord on this wall wart that goes to one of my radios nice and secure until I need it. And the last variant, sometimes it's useful to have a loop if you want to hang some of this gear on a pack or on a hook. So instead of tying just a barrel knot at the end, you can tie a barrel knot with a loop. Apply these the same way, but in the end, you'll have a loop sticking off, and you can use that to hang this from a pack, hang it on a hook on a wall, or secure it somehow. All right, there's a nice, easy project. I call these paracord gear tamers. All you need is a lighter, a pair of scissors, Throw gear away, don't forget to salvage any useful parts and a little paracord.